I'm your host, Celia Sudri, and I'm coming to you live from Royce Hall in the historic 413-acre UCLA campus. We couldn't have asked for a more gorgeous day at 80 degrees and sunny here in Los Angeles. And we're here at the 2012 certificate graduation to celebrate with 2,400 students, and these students have excelled in areas such as project management, marketing, paralegal studies, music business, accounting, and I could go on and on. Uh, an extension offers over 100 certificates, which are completed by following a sequence of courses in a specialized field. And most of our students are working a full or part-time job while building knowledge and practical skills from instructors who are in the top of their industries. And our students come from all over the world. And uh, today, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. And today, we're going to hear from program directors and successful graduates and learn about what this event really means to them. And we plan a great day ahead with keynote speaker Judge Elizabeth Allen White, who is a graduate herself of the paralegal program, as well as Dean Kathy Sandine. And we're going to hear a live music from the a cappella group Impact. And in less than an hour, we're going to go into the 1800 seat Royce Hall to watch students be recognized for their certificates. So I'd like to welcome our first guest today, Associate Dean of Administration. Michelle Stiles, please join us. Hi, Celia. Hi, nice to nice see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, and for the viewers out there who may not know you, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Uh, I'm Associate Dean of Administration with Extension. I've been with Extension since uh, March of 2009. Uh, before coming to Extension, I had uh, experience in the public and private sector as well as higher education. My specialties and education are in finance, accounting, uh, budgeting, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, higher education mm -hmm. administration. Okay, great. And as we know, in this economy, certificates and continuing education spill a, uh, fill a specific need. And how does UCL Extension benefit students entering the current job market? In this economy, I think, well, certificates are the thing because they give students the opportunity to quickly get the skills, the practical skills that they need to enter the job market. Uh, as we know, many of the uh, people that were well established in their careers earlier unfortunately lost their jobs and needed to retool very quickly. So Extension offers such a wide variety of, of certificates that we can help people retrain quickly, get, get the practical skills they need to go out and and get that career we also our certificates are great for um, people that maybe undergrads that are coming out and they have all the theory but they don't quite have the practical experience that they need to get in this competitive job market so we've been seeing a lot of that as well definitely so. and we're going to talk about some of those certificates in a little while also mm -hmm. and um, graduation is always an exciting time so uh, what are you most excited for today I really love actually to sit on the stage and see all the graduates fi filing in and, and sitting there and they're all so excited. It's just, just the energy is just so exciting and then also for extension because we do have so many certificates to see all of the students that have, have uh, been successful in our programs mm -hmm. in one place with their families and, and everybody's so excited. So I think, I think just the energy and mm -hmm. synergy that comes out of that is very exciting. Definitely. And we have a great show, too. And um, is there any new innovative programming coming from UCLA Extension that you want to talk about a little bit? Um, our certificates are always uh, reviewed, and we're always looking to the next uh, thing. We, we have advisory boards with all of the industry professionals that work on our certificates, mm -hmm. and so we try to, to look out and be projecting on what the next thing is, but extension itself is entering into a, a different area for us. We're collaborating with a private uh, group called Empowered, mm -hmm. and we're moving to uh, more online programming. So, uh, and Empowered is focusing on baby boomers who are career changers, so it's, it's an exciting time for us. Right, and that program is launching in the fall, correct? It's launching in the fall. We've been working on it very intensely for well over a year now, but we're ready to launch. We'll launch uh, 10 certificates in the fall. Oh, sounds great. And um, so this is the fourth graduation for UCLA Extension. Mm -hmm. Uh, how did this tradition begin? I know you have a little bit of the history of, right. of how it began. Um, 
it used to be that each of the program departments did individual certificate um, graduation ceremonies on their own and always always wanted to celebrate the successes of the students but um, we decided to try to get all of the students together and really have a very big celebra celebratory day mm -hmm. and uh, when Dean Sandine came uh, to extension five years ago we we talked about it off and on and she was really the impetus and said you know it would be such a uh, inspiring event mm -hmm. and it really is I mean for the students and for uh, all of the folks at extension mm -hmm. and we have a full house today we do We're filling up the entire Royce Hall right our we started out the first year we had 1400 graduates Wow. Uh, and this year we have over 2400 so yeah. it's really grown, grown and uh, out of those 2400 we have about 650 who are attending, attending today, which is a great number, mm -hmm. and you know their family and friends are coming from all over the world over. to see them, mm -hmm. so it's really great. Mm -hmm. uh, and thank you so much oh, for joining you. us for this live stream chat. And thank you. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit during graduation. <laughs> thank you. And um, our next guest is Program Director Stefan Mueller, one of our newest members of UCLA Extension team in the Humanities Department. Good afternoon, Thank Celia. You. How are You're you? Thank you. Good. How are you? Excellent. I'm very excited to be here with you today. Great. And um, can you also talk about, you know, a little bit about your background, how you first got involved with UCLA Extension? Sure. Well, I was born in France, as you can tell by my accent, and I did <laughs> yeah. a master's degree in French as a foreign language, which allowed me to travel and uh, teach uh, around the world at the same time. Uh, I taught in eight countries. You did 57 and couldn't find a better place than mm. Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, while teaching at Cambridge University, I did a EDD in uh, education and uh, leadership, and that allowed me to uh, do that online because I was traveling. Mm -hmm. um, I visited LA when I was 21, and uh, the first time I couldn't find anything wrong with the place. That's <laughs> yeah. why I decided after uh, a few years to come back to it. Mm -hmm. Um, I had the pleasure to teach at a few universities um, and colleges, but UCL has always been uh, in my heart. It's, uh, it's a long story, but when I was 15, my best friend came to Los Angeles and uh, offered me on his way back a UCLA t-shirt. He mm -hmm. told me that it was the best university in Southern California, and mm -hmm. I had to check for myself. So when I came uh, four years later, I just uh, realized that, wow, that is a great place to work. Yeah. So I contacted the extension, and they offered me my first position as a French instructor. So my first uh, class was face-to-face, uh, -face, and then I mm -hmm. taught uh, the next four years online, mm -hmm. and I developed the French program from French 1 to French 6 online. Mm -hmm. And four months ago, as you said, uh, I yeah. started uh, as the program director of Humanities and Social Sciences. Yeah, that's great. And you mentioned online, and UCLA Extension has ex expanded our online offerings exponentially. Um, I mean, that's great because people, students from all over the world can access our classes. So that's a really great addition to what we offer. Absolutely. At the moment, we, uh, we try to offer 50% on campus and 50% online. Mm -hmm. And uh, it makes um, my job even more a dream job because <laughs> yeah. I'm very much for online education. Yeah, I'm taking a class right now online, and it's great. Um, and you mentioned you know, your background, and you come from France, and we have students who come from all around the world, including you know, countries such as Russia and Thailand, Argentina, Germany, Japan, and the list goes on and on, literally dozens. Um, how does this diversity add to the UCLA Extension environment? Well, I can tell you that uh, I have some wonderful uh, stories from instructors that are giving me some feedback about the experience inside the classroom where students exchange stories, exchange experience, and also look at different traditions, uh, different ways of uh, looking at education and any uh, subject that they are taking. So it uh, makes the classroom a very uh, uh, rich environment to learn. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a real eye-opener when uh, you go into a classroom and you hear five or six different languages yeah. uh, happening and then suddenly everybody switched to English. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, um, our former president, Bill Clinton, who did uh, a lecture in May, and mm -hmm. I had the pleasure to go to it. Uh, At called, Royce. Yes. Yeah, right here. <laughs> here we are. Um, it was on thought leadership, and uh, he said that, that we um, are currently in a situation where we can strive, and uh, he urged the country to embrace a common humanity with the rest of the world, quoting. So cultural diversity in the classroom is definitely the first step to do yeah. so. Definitely. Thank you. And... Um, what are some exciting developments and certificates in humanities that you know we should look out for? 
Yes, absolutely. So today we honor students from seven different uh, certificates. Among them, uh, we have journalism, we have fundraising, interpretation, and translation. In the fall, we're going to launch a new non-profit management certificate that we've been working on, and uh, we think that the students are going to love it. We are also revamping our fundraising certificate oh, cool. uh, that has been uh, very successful over the years, but we mm -hmm. want to add the latest trends in the industry. We're also currently uh, developing a new certificate for spring 2013 mm -hmm. in languages, and we're going to choose mm -hmm. Spanish to start with. Ah, so language great. being my... Uh, very close to my heart. I'm very excited about that. And the good news is that you can complete all those certificates in one year by taking two courses per quarter. Mm, that's fantastic. Sounds really great. And um, since joining us here, are you surprised about anything? Are there more offerings than you initially thought? Yes, very much indeed. When I looked at our catalog and I saw all those courses, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe uh, how much uh, different opportunities students uh, have in terms of choosing the class. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some exciting courses that we're launching also in the fall. Uh, one is called uh, When Bad Things Happen to Good People in mm -hmm. Competitive Literature. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Charles Dickens Turns 200 or Shakespeare Revolutionary Play. Mm -hmm. So we have such a huge diversity. And uh, as early as three weeks ago, a, uh, a writer contacted me to do a class on the politics of oil. Huh. And I said, well, wow. Let's do it. Yeah. It's uh, very much what's happening now. So come and see us on the seventh floor of the building. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And we definitely stay on top of the trends and you know, hear from industry leaders about you know, what courses UCLA Extension needs, which is also a very you know, special uh, feature that we have. Absolutely. In our program. And thank you so much for joining My us pleasure, today. Senor. And I'll see you out in the graduation. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Stefan. And now uh, I'd like to welcome one of our graduates, Kara Compesi. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced your last name. <laughs> um, Kara, so thank you for joining us today of and My welcome. Uh, can you tell us about your certificate? It's in education, and uh, did you have a concentration in it? Yes, yeah, so um, my certificate title is a uh, teaching in general education for mm -hmm. elementary school students. Okay. So quite lengthy, <laughs> but um, so my concentration is in elementary school. Uh -huh. um, I'm working towards my multiple subjects credential, um, which will be completed um, in the next year. Mm -hmm. So this is just one step towards uh, my larger credential. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, you are involved in Teach for America. Can you tell me about how you got there and your role? Yeah, so Teach for America is a core of um, recent graduates from undergraduate institutions. So mm -hmm. um, we get placed in low-income areas and under-resourced districts to mm -hmm. try and um, bridge the achievement gap that we see in um, those communities versus other high-performing um, more resourced, well-resourced communities. Mm -hmm. So I graduated from UC Irvine um, okay. last spring in 2011. Congratulations. And thank you very much. Um, and I had a degree in psychology, actually. Uh -huh. um, and so I applied to Teach for America and was uh, went through a training for about six weeks last summer. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of just get thrown into a classroom. Yeah. So I didn't know what, um, what subject I would be teaching, what mm -hmm. grade. Um, and I ended up in fifth grade in San Jose. Huh. So um, basically, I teach full time and while completing my um, online coursework through UCLA Extension. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And um, what elements of your certificate helped you get there? I mean, I know you're still involved in the process mm -hmm. and all that, but you know, what really brought you to UCLA Extension? How did that contribute to where you're going? Yes. Well, um, through Teach for America, you can get your um, certificate in, through a number of different institutions. And mm -hmm. what really drew me to UCLA Extension was that the certificate could be attained through all online coursework. Mm -hmm. And that was really important for me in my first year of teaching because I wasn't sure how much time I would have after school. You know, mm -hmm. you're planning and it's all new. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you have all of your um, lesson plans done um, from the previous year. So mm -hmm. having um, coursework online was extremely important to me. Yeah. Um, and it really allowed for a lot of contact through di my different instructors mm -hmm. at UCLA. Um, it was a lot easier than just going to my classes one day a week, like some mm -hmm. of my yeah. um, other Teach for America friends did. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and also a lot of the coursework was very applied. You know, we learned about different teaching techniques and then we went into our class the next week and, and applied it to a certain student or a certain um, subject and saw how that shaped our educational practice. So that was very helpful for me. Great. And I mean, where do you see your career going? Where do you see yourself after all this whole experience? Well, I'm definitely going to stay in teaching for a few more years. Mm -hmm. I know the Teach for America commitment is typically two years. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that UCLA has really opened up um, my eyes to a longer career in teaching. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to see where that goes. That's great. And we're so happy to have you here. Thank you. And um, thank you for joining us. Thank you very <laughs> and, uh, much. And we'll see you out there in the hall. Okay. <laughs> nice Pleasure. to meet you. You too. And our next guest is Charlene Simmons. And uh, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for joining us. I know that you know, it's not so easy to get here on a Friday. Um, <laughs> so how are you doing? <laughs> good, good. Um, and you have a certificate in project management, is yes. that correct? Can you tell us a little bit about that for some of us who don't really know? Well, um, in my job I started doing project, project. I have friends and family who work in project management. And so I would give them the buzzwords that I had heard and they said, you're doing project management. <laughs> and I'm like, I have no clue what that means. So I said, did some research and I said, I'm an undergrad alum from UCLA, and I, the program sounded doable. Talked to my boss, and he says, absolutely, that'd be great. Uh -huh. So I started the program, and in the first class, it, there were 25 of us who had been doing project management without the benefit of any technical training or anything. So we mm -hmm. were like all <laughs> kind of in the same boat. Yeah, that's great. And now, so how long were you in that certificate program class? Um, it took me about a year and a half. Okay, that's that's pretty good, right? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I'm kind of driven when it comes to to learning things, and it's interesting. I had some really, really interesting professionals who just kind of shot from the hip. But it wasn't like being in an undergrad lecture; mm -hmm. they were in the real world. Yeah, that's what's so great about UCLA Extension. Uh, what kind of like in your class? Like, what kind of students did you guys have? Like, what kind um, of diversity? Largely IT. Mm -hmm. um, culturally and age speaking across the board anywhere from 25 to, to 60s mm -hmm. um, people transitioning mm -hmm. careers we had some entrepreneurs people who had their own businesses mm -hmm. okay great and um, how do you feel that this program has enriched and helped you in your career I was in what I thought was an impossible situation that I was going to have to leave the company because of an executive and did not know how to deal with it. And a class I had, it's like, you gotta just get in there and you go with facts and you tell them how this is going to save them money. Mm -hmm. And it's not personal. And you have to keep it not personal no matter how personal yeah. they try to make it. So that practical experience, I never thought it would work. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'd be able to tell a, a, a chief financial officer mm -hmm. no and keep my job. Mm -hmm and actually get promoted. Yeah, that's great. So you're still with that same company? Yes. <laughs> great. How long have you been there? Um, five and a half years. Oh, nice. Very nice. It's in Los Angeles, Yeah, right? transportation, yeah. Ah, perfect. And um, so, you know, what brought you to UCLA Extension? Like, what was happening in your life and your journey? I just, as an undergraduate, I remember working for what you got. Not like they'll just give you the grade and you can say, oh, mm -hmm. here's the paper. It's yeah. really good, pr sound, practical. Mm -hmm. You know, the testing process isn't necessarily, did I get A right or B right? It's, it's like a combination of narrative, plus there's some things that are black and white, yeah. you know? Yeah. And were there any classes that you really loved or instructors that yes. you remember? Yes. Um, I had one with risk who said, you can fix any situation if you, and, and risk means your way to say no. Uh -huh. It's like, you can do this and we can do this, but it still takes paint three days to dry. Mm -hmm. So they keep, I want it now, I want it now, but it takes paint three days to dry. Right, right, right. So we can hang your Rembrandt on that wall, mm -hmm. but it'll ruin it. So uh, yeah. that, that, and then I had another one who said, confrontation early on in a project, gets it out of the way, it, it lets people know 
who's the leader kind of naturally falling into place and mm -hmm. where people's strengths lie. Some are negotiators, some are like go-getters. Mm -hmm. Some just kind of sit back and assess the whole situation. It's really true how it just yeah. fell out. It's in the book and we're witnessing it happen. It's yeah. pretty awesome. That's right. And um, what projects are you currently involved in that you want to talk about? Well, if you take the subway or the bus, there's a blue card that you use and we're integrating that technology with our tickets. Ah, very nice. It's <laughs> huge. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, I really pleasure. appreciate it and uh, have fun at the graduation. Thank we have you. a great show and nice you. thank you for coming. Thank nice you. meeting you. So nice meeting you. And um, now we have graduate Andy Schrader. Please join us, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi. How are you doing? Thank Good. you for joining us. You bet. Nice to see you. Um, so, Andy, you are in global sustainability. How Correct. did you get there? How did I get there? I've, you know, I've always been involved in environmental issues, mm -hmm. um, and I've always taken classes at UCL Extension, usually about one or two a year. Mm -hmm. And I had lost, been laid off, and was looking for something new to do. And I saw uh, UCLA Extension's new global sustainability program. Mm -hmm. That is a perfect fit. Yeah. And it's a great program, right? You it is a great it. program. <laughs> um, so you had been coming to UCLA Extension for years mm -hmm. previous. OK, great. And um, so I heard that you're working on a ban of plastic bags. Can you tell us more about that and like just the whole process and how you got that, to that project? So I was in, I was in a, uh, what was it, Sustainability 3 class, mm -hmm. and Leslie Tamanen, who is the head of the Clean Seas Coalition, came and was guest speaking. Mm -hmm. And she said, does anybody want to learn how to lobby? Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Literally two weeks later, I'm on a plane for Sacramento yeah. for Ocean's Day, uh, working on ocean marine debris issues, mm -hmm. which included a plastic bag ban in uh, mm -hmm. California. And uh, that did not pass. And I got involved in a local effort to um, all the local cities around here. Somehow I wound up in charge of the LA City bag ban and council member Paul Koretz mm. introduced a resolution to ban plastic bags in Los Angeles. I kept bugging their office about it and they kept saying, we should just give you an office. And they did. That's very exciting and what a whirlwind. Yeah, you went exactly. That's awesome. A direct line from UCLA UCLA Extension class to job. Wow, that's really exciting. And um, so you're obviously the certificate really is what pushed you, mm -hmm. that extra edge. That's and the, the people I met, uh -huh. the, uh, and the best thing is all the different classes I took are now relevant to my job. I'm the Deputy of Environmental Affairs and Sustainability for Councilmember Koretz. Mm -hmm. So everything I learned, water issues, waste issues, mm -hmm. sustainability issues, I'm using in my job every day. Great, and we're so glad to have you today. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll also see you in the hall. You bet. Thank you. And um, now I'd like to introduce our last guest, Aymara, who in February joined UCLA Extension as the Program Director for Legal Programs. Hi, Aymara. Hi, how, how are you? How doing? are you? Good? I'm doing very well. That's good. Great. Thank you. Uh, we are excited this year to welcome Superior Court Judge Elizabeth Allen White as our keynote. And um, the judge is also a former student of the paralegal program. Can you tell us like, a little bit about her contributions to the program? Absolutely. We're absolutely delighted to have Judge White as our keynote speaker today. Um, Judge White has been extremely active in the legal community. Mm -hmm. After she completed our program, she went on to law school and then became a judicial officer for the Los Angeles Superior Court. Mm -hmm. um, she has served as an instructor for us for the past decade. Mm -hmm. and she's been instrumental in also doing legal education and has been the author of books on civil procedure, mm -hmm. evidence, and trials, which we use in our program. Great, great. And um, I'd li also like to note that 344 graduates uh, are coming from this department this year, which is a really great number. And uh, why do you think paralegal studies is so, so booming right now? Well, I think people have always had an interest in the law. It's mm -hmm. always been an exciting profession, intellectually stimulating, and it's always changing and evolving. Mm -hmm. I think that students these days are recognizing the value of having such a rigorous education, not only to prepare you for a diversity of jobs, but also to serve as a fundamental 
uh, step in preparing you to go into law school. Mm -hmm. So those who are seeking to go on to law school, become attorneys, um, are very excited about our curriculum mm -hmm. because it models the first year law school curriculum. Okay, great. And can you tell us just quickly about like some student successes, even just one, it would be great. Oh, absolutely. Um, it's a little bit hard to, to pin it down to one. Our, our students have had so many success stories based on their differences in their life experience, but mm -hmm. we have people who have gone on to become in-house counsel, um, an entertainment company. We've also, in our recent class right now, have somebody who has both a master's and a PhD mm -hmm. in, bio, uh, in organic chemistry mm -hmm. and has gone on to do uh, corporate licensing, will actually start a job immediately after graduation mm -hmm. um, doing that after completing our program. That's fantastic. And uh, what does graduation mean to our paralegal students? Oh, <laughs> thank you. We're running out of time. We have to go into the hall. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so Mara. much. And congratulations, all graduates. Great. Thank you. And uh, we hope this gave you a great overview of what our certificate programs are all about. And a little fun, a few fun tidbits for those of you who can't make it. We have a life-size broom bear, a cappella band. And join us on Twitter, UCLAXGrad2012 is a hashtag. Thank you.
Welcome to the UCLA Extension 2012 Certificate Graduation Ceremony. As a courtesy to all our participants and performers, please take a moment to turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome UCLA Extension's deans and directors. ceremony tonight. So an official welcome to our students, their families, friends, and associates, many of, of whom have traveled very far to be here tonight. We welcome our instructors who are in the audience. We're very glad you're here. You might be interested in knowing that tonight we're providing a live video stream of this ceremony. So even if you have relatives and friends who can't be here, they can watch it tonight or they can watch it later um, after the ceremony is over. So I want to be sure to ex extend an, a real special welcome to the people joining us on the video stream. You can't believe what it's like to stand here on this stage and see this whole auditorium filled with people who are affiliated with UCLA Extension. We really welcome you to the family. Here on stage, as you heard, I am joined by the administrative and program directors at UCLA Extension. And they really are the brains of the operation. They make things happen for you, our students. They're the people who design the programs and hire the instructors and enroll you in classes and keep the lights on and the website working and everything and everything. I really want to thank them for all that they do. I also need to honor all of our staff who are here tonight who work so hard to make this a special night for our students. They, like many people here, are really committed to the success of others and to the success of our students. And I am really humbled by the work they do. And um, let's honor them for a moment. Also on the stage tonight, we have three members of the UCLA Extension Dean's Advisory Board. We have Kieran Nolan, Kate Sims, and Joe Arambula. I welcome them here. I'm glad they could participate. Now, you may not be aware of this, but at UCLA Extension, we have a board of advisors, 25 or so of top executives and professionals from around the area who help advise us and keep our programs up to date and relevant. We are constantly improving what we do, and they help us a great deal. Uh, Kieran is an alumnus of UCLA, and in fact, Kate tonight is earning a certificate and a master's degree in interior architecture through a special partnership we have with Cal Poly Pomona. So congratulations, Kate. <laughs> a 
But again, tonight is really all about you, our students. I want you to know that we all have the utmost respect for what you have accomplished. Earning a certificate at UCLA Extension is a big, big deal. It requires a lot of sacrifice and hard work, and I know that you have devoted countless hours and your expertise and your knowledge in order to gain this certificate. You have our full, full respect and admiration. And I've always felt that way, but this year even more so because I was personally reminded how hard you have worked. Today, my own daughter, Kara, uh, is among you having completed her certificate. Now, Kara, don't worry, I won't make you stand up. Um, <laughs> She completed an online program in our education department while also working full-time as a first-time fifth grade teacher up in San Jose, California. So I know what it's like. I remember those late night phone calls as she's finishing up a big assignment, and I'm sure you were having those late night phone calls as you were finishing up a big assignment too. I remember the exhaustion. I remember all the hard work, and I know that every single one of you sitting out there has put in as much time, as much commitment as she did. And I really, really feel it this year because I know what you went through. Congratulations to all of you. But I know you did not do it alone. You had a great deal of support from your family and your friends and your relatives. And let's thank them for how they supported you. Up there, I know, sitting around. It takes a lot. So here we are in Royce Hall at UCLA, one of the original buildings at UCLA. It is a beautiful, inspiring place to me. Um, I, I myself sat up here for my own commencement ceremony not too long ago. It was 2005 with my family in attendance. And you may not realize it, but yes, just like you, I went back to school um, to expand my own education. In my case, I was in my mid-40s. I had a full-time job. I had a long commute to work and to school because I lived up in the San Francisco Bay Area and I flew down here to UCLA in order to complete my program. I had two kids at home, remember Kara? So I truly do know what it means to go back and I know what it takes in terms of organizational skills and multitasking and going without sleep. But honestly, I can stand here before you and say that not a day goes by that I don't say it was worth it, it was totally worth it, and I'm, I hope that you will feel the same too. I know, I'm confident that you will feel the same way too. It was worth it, I'm living my dream, I'm doing something positive for the future. There is one word for people like you, and that is optimist. According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, an optimist is a person who is inclined to put the most favorable construction upon actions and events, or to anticipate the best possible outcome. The classic example you probably heard is someone who sees a glass as half full rather than half empty. That is an optimist. So I think it's no coincidence that UCLA as a campus has chosen optimism as the theme for its new marketing campaign. I truly believe that there is something about this place that encourages people to move positively toward the future, to try new things, to challenge themselves, and to make a contribution. I have a little quote from the UCLA website. And it goes like this. There are people who see things as they are, and there are those who see things as they could be. For nearly a century, UCLA has been home to the dreamers. People come to these sun-drenched grounds not only to be famous, but to be great. They become innovators and influencers groundbreakers, and nation builders, the ones who change the game, 
the hearts and minds, and the world. Welcome to the class of optimists. And now we have a little video. The world needs more impossible. More unconventional. More unconventional. Unreasonable. Unhinged. Keep telling us we're naive, that we should get real, that we don't have a shot. For every barrier, we have a breakthrough. Every obstacle, a leap forward. For every cynic, these inspiring grounds have given us an optimism. Them too. Welcome to the class of optimists. Welcome to the UCLA family. And now let's get on with our ceremony. Next, we have our keynote address and presentation of the UCLA Extension Professional Achievement Award. This year, our speaker and awardee is the Honorable Judge Elizabeth Allen White. Superior Court Judge, State of California in Los Angeles. And like every one of you out there, she is a graduate of a UCLA Extension Certificate Program. Let's hear her story. In 1977, I was a student at UCLA. I had obtained a degree in what I thought was going to be something of interest, namely French literature. My grandmother had a different view. She realized that I had pursued my heart, but perhaps not something that would serve me well in the long term. She happened to know that UCLA Extension had just started a paralegal studies program and she suggested that I walk down to UCLA Extension and apply. I always listened to my grandmother, and she was absolutely right, because in a matter of a few months, I was able to pair my undergraduate degree with a certificate from UCLA Extension and was able to immediately become employed. For a year and a half, I worked as a paralegal. I learned the benefit of organizing and pursuing a case from beginning to conclusion. I learned how important it was to have all of the evidence at the ready for the lawyers when they needed it. And I also learned that I wanted to go further in my career. So I applied to law school, pursued a, law, a legal education, and ultimately became a trial attorney. I think my grandmother had one aspect of it absolutely right and that was that UCLA Extension offered me the opportunity at a lifelong career. The part I don't think she suspected was that I would ultimately use my French. As a trial attorney, I represented French-speaking clients and did significant discovery in France. After 16 years as a trial lawyer, another family member suggested that perhaps I ought to consider a career in the judiciary, and I was appointed in 1997 to the Los Angeles Superior Court. I have to say, as I sit here today, I would not be in this position were it not for that suggestion by my grandmother many years ago to go down to UCLA Extension, and certainly I would not be here without that UCLA education, and for that I am truly thankful. As I look out at each of you, I realize that each of you brings to this moment your background, your skills, and the reasoning for which you applied to UCLA Extension and pursued a certificate. Each of you will go forward with that certificate and move on into another phase of your life, but always remember that what you brought to that moment when you decided to apply for that certificate program will also be part of who you are as you go forward in your lives. Please welcome the Honorable Judge Elizabeth Allen White.
I want to give you a round of applause. You are the ones who made it to this day, and you are the ones who are going to move forward from this day. And now that you've been acknowledged, I want to take a moment to talk about you. Unlike a graduation from high school or college, where the majority of the students are about the same age as you, and in the case of high school from the surrounding community, you come from all over the world. You represent every continent and numerous countries. For many of you, English is not your native language, but just one of many languages that you speak. And yet here you are, from your diverse backgrounds, obtaining certificates in subjects as diverse as interior design, business, entertainment, landscape architecture, journalism, public relations, my personal favorite, paralegal studies, <laughs> accounting, education, engineering, and healthcare. We're all assembled here, recognizing that each of you has taken a completely different path to arrive at this moment. Some of you are fresh from college or secondary education and wanted to fine tune your focus with, with a certificate that makes you more employable. Still others of you are seeking a change of career and will use your certificates to re-enter the job market in a different field. Others have just come to the United States and chose UCLA Extension in order to study in a field which may open new avenues for employment. So I'd like to take a moment and do some self-actualization. If your background includes a foreign language, sell yourself and your newly found skills from UCLA, along with the fact that you're able to speak that foreign language. One of the advantages of being in Los Angeles is the multicultural nature of our community and the fact that so many people from the world over call Los Angeles home. If your background includes prior employment in a different field, you nonetheless have learned something from that prior employment, whether it be management or organizational skills, which you can use together with your certificate, use those and launch yourself into that new career. Even if you have little employment experience, your undergraduate degree should enhance your work life and distinguish you from your peers. I know firsthand how my certificate in paralegal studies from UCLA Extension allowed me to pull together different aspects of my education in order to become who I am today. I entered college at UCLA with a love of French and obtained my undergraduate degree in French. I should mention that I actually grew up at UCLA. My family lived a block away from UCLA. My grandfather built a house when Royce Hall and Powell Library were the only buildings on campus and the rest were bean fields. So my sister and I felt UCLA was our playground and believe me, we played. We were naughty, we went in the fountains, we sat in that, that inverted fountain and let the water come over us until we were told we couldn't do that. So I have a real fondness for UCLA. But my French degree was something else. I thoroughly enjoyed the French department and given that I lived close to campus, my friends and I would sit by the fire, drink wine, enjoy all things French, converse in French. My sister, on the other hand, was doing biochemistry, trying to get into medical school, and she would just glare at me. <laughs> I think my grandmother got a little concerned when she realized that all I was focusing on was French, French culture, French food, so she prompted me, because she reads the paper and she had heard about UCLA Extension, to just simply walk down the hill. Probably the best walk down the hill I ever did. So I doubled up my senior year here at UCLA, got my BA, and got my certificate at the same time. Now, I was still very much an idealist. I assumed that with that certificate, I would be able to fly off to Paris and be an international paralegal. <laughs> I started my search for employment, and there was something called a work permit, which many of you, I think, have faced, which was a problem for me. So I 
was able to get employment with a downtown law firm and using the organizational skills that I had learned at UCLA, I was able to help the lawyers organize trial exhibits, summarize depositions, issue subpoenas, respond to discovery, all of those tasks that are so crucial to a good prosecution or defense of a case. I saw the life of trial attorneys firsthand, and I wanted to be one. I couldn't imagine anything more exciting. I was going to be an international lawyer. I was going to argue cases before The Hague. When I realized that being an international lawyer was merely a question of title, after going to law school, I hung out my shingle, joined the French American Chamber of Commerce, and represented a few French-speaking clients. Some of that work caused me to travel to Paris to obtain the permission to take depositions in France pursuant to the Hague Convention. There was a man who lived in a turreted office deep in Paris. I had to find him to get a stamp that allowed me to pursue my discovery in France. So you see, self-actualization. Those two loves of my life came together. My naivete allowed me to persevere, believing that I could do both, use my French, handle international matters. But what happened to me in the process is I fell in love with the courtroom, something I never had aspired to. The courtroom became my passion, a passion which I pursued to a career on the bench. A courtroom is like theater, where the drama of human events unfolds. Sitting in the downtown civil court, I see all types of cases. In some cases, the courtroom theaters, theater involves actual theater, since many of my cases arise from entertainment and industry disputes. I also see cases which reflect our general economic conditions, employment-related disputes, foreclosure cases, commercial and business disputes, along with the gamut of personal injury matters. I see paralegals assisting at trial, some of whom have been my students. One of the things that I did on taking the bench was to think back on that education that I had at UCLA. And the nice thing about being a judge is that even though you work hard, you're able to go home and you have a little bit of time. So I thought, why not go back and teach at UCLA Extension? And that has been one of the most rewarding things I have done. Some of my students sit out there in the audience. I am so proud of all of you. It was such a pleasure to teach you and be a part of your education. The thing about Los Angeles is that it's a melting pot. And I am so encouraged by the diversity that is here in this room and the diversity that I see in my courtroom every day. I have jurors with backgrounds that are incredibly diverse. And those jurors come together and they accomplish things together just the way you have here. It is that diversity which ensures that our justice system reflects our constitutional mandate for government of the people, by the people, and for the people. I am so thrilled to be part of that mandate. Achieving professional success would be nothing if it could not be shared with those you love. Take the time to enjoy your family. Find time to enjoy your loved ones. Play with your children. Create a meaningful life. Acknowledging the role that UCLA played in my career, I have had such great rewards teaching the students. Each of you who comes to this moment and gets your certificate brings all of your life experience and the skills with you to this moment. Don't forget your past as you move forward. Make it a lasting part of who you are, both personally and professionally. And if you get the chance, give back. Mentor another student. Teach a class. Tutor a student. You'll be that much more grateful for who you are and who you will become. One final observation, Dean Sandine mentioned that UCLA is a place of optimists. Sometimes it's difficult to be an optimist in the face of such challenging times. 
Our government coffers are empty. We live on borrowed funds. The job market is difficult. Think outside the box. Don't forget how unique each one of you is. Sell yourself. Sell your unique skills. Engage in the process of self-actualization. By seeing it happen, you can make it happen. UCLA has played a big part in all of our lives and provides us all with common ground. As you each step out of this auditorium and off of this campus, may you continue to fulfill your dreams. As you achieve those dreams, remember the joy of this moment. Think back on the person you imagined you would become and who you became. In the meantime, enjoy the process of becoming that person. As you set about that journey, I wish you all the best. Congratulations and best wishes to each and every one of you. Thank you. So now it's my pleasure to bestow upon the Honorable Judge Elizabeth Allen White the 2012 UCLA Extension Professional Achievement Award. One of my favorite quotes about education from Yeats is that education is not the filling of a pail, but rather the lighting of a fire. I see my role as instructor being more than an expert. I see it as being a facilitator to inspire and encourage students learning about the field and learning from each other as well as from me. I had previously done my undergrad in art history and I had graduated in 2009, which was at the beginning of the recession and there was not so many jobs within the art world and I was feeling very frustrated coming out of college. I had decided that I wanted to do more schooling and a few of my friends that were attorneys had suggested to me to go look into the paralegal program and I had looked at a few schools and UCLA Extension was one of them and after hearing that UCLA Extension had such a good reputation I had decided to apply there and when I had got, uh, gotten accepted I was just absolutely thrilled. I'm a cardiac tech here at uh, Santa Monica UCLA Medical Center and I've reached the top of my profession and there was nowhere else to go and I was at the crossroads in my life at a junction where I needed change so I looked no further than UCLA Extension. They really cater to what's hot in the market right now, what the job market needs, the hot jobs, um, especially with the iPhone and the Android classes. I'm the operations manager for a privately held company in Southern California. We own and operate 55 retail gasoline stations and I originally decided to sign up for the personal financial planning certificate program because I not only wanted to improve my knowledge of personal financial planning, but I found an opportunity to improve and increase my role within our organization. I moved out from New York to start the UCLA Extension program because I wanted to get involved in the shipping industry. I actually came out here and got a job with a freight forwarder, which is exactly what I wanted to do, but turns out after a few months of working with them, it wasn't quite for me. Now, the extension program encouraged me to look into other things, you know, including the import-export operations, where through the program, it taught me a lot about laws, regulations, cultures, everything that I needed to know to do international business. Coming to the UCLA Landscape Architecture Program has really opened up my eyes to the macro level of landscape architecture that's out there. My background is at a micro level, working with residential small-scale projects and all of a sudden now I see a whole new world of parks and urban planning, recreation space for communities, uh, urban planning, fixing up streets and creating green streets. I've always wanted to become a landscape architect and I can now sit the license exam and instead of being a glorified gardener, I'm one step closer to calling myself a landscape architect. What I really love about UCLA Extension is that the teaching is focused on the learn by doing. And when you do your assignments, in the case of film scoring, 
these assignments become your business cards because these are the music that you produce and you get the chance to have it and take it to the real world as your demos. Before taking the certificate program, I had very little knowledge of personal financial planning. And by the time I was done, I felt I could sit down with any professional and have a conversation with them uh, peer to peer. Right now I have an internship with the LA Chamber of Commerce. It's great because it gets me exposure to all types of cultures and nationalities and different big business people around the world. I like it because my professor here at UCLA Extension encouraged me to do it. You get to know your professors here. Like now we have a weekly dinner with a lot of my professors from Extension that we go to just to, just to talk about industry or talk about school and whatnot. The camaraderie and Extension is a little bit much more personal. I like it. I wish I'd known about it a long time ago. <laughs> I love extension because I love learning, and I believe that it doesn't stop at your first degree or second degree, but that learning is an, a lifelong voyage of discovery. And I especially love getting to work with all of the students and instructors within the program. It's really an incredible community of people. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Associate Dean for Administration, Michelle Stiles. Good evening. I feel very fortunate to have this opportunity to congratulate each of the graduates and their families. We are truly in awe of the commitment, energy, and enthusiasm that each of you have put forward to achieve this educational goal. Thomas Edison was credited with saying, three great essentials are necessary to achieve anything worthwhile. Hard work, stick-to-itiveness, and common sense. You've all shown that you, ha you possess all of these, and we are all sure you'll go on to achieve many, many more great and worthwhile things. So congratulations. As, associ as Associate Dean of Administration, I'm responsible for de developing and implementing strategies and processes for extension. So tonight, I have the honor of outlining for you the process that will be used for the UCLA 2012 Certificate Award Acknowledgements. Among those seated on the stage are Extension's program directors. Program directors are responsible for creating and refreshing certificate curriculum and overseeing the implementation of the programs. As we go forward tonight, each director will come to the podium and announce the certificate programs that they oversee. When your certificate is announced, we, the director will ask you to stand as a group and be acknowledged. After your group has been acknowledged, we ask that you take your seat and remain seated until all the certificate programs have been announced and all graduates have received their recognition. So now, we get to the great part of this ceremony, and Dr. Linda Venus, Director of the Arts Department, will begin the award acknowledgments. Thank you. Yes, my name is Linda Venus. I'm the Director of the Department of the Arts. We are now going to recognize the certificate programs in the arts. Good evening, my name is Pascal Cohen Olivar, and I'm a program director for the Entertainment Studies and Performing Arts program. So it is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate program in acting. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is now my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in business and management of entertainment. Please rise and be acknowledged. And now I would like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in cinematography. Please rise and be acknowledged. <laughs> uh, 
And I would like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the program in development. Please rise and be acknowledged. Oh, just one. Hello. Okay, and now I would like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in directing. Please rise and be acknowledged. And now for the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate program in entertainment studies. Please rise and be acknowledged. And I would like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in film scoring. Please rise and be acknowledged. And now the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in independent music production. Please rise and be acknowledged. <laughs> And now it's a turn for all of the certificate graduates who have completed the program in the music business. Please rise and be acknowledged. And finally, I would like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in producing. Please rise and be acknowledged. Thank you. My name is Scott Hutchinson, and I'm the program director of the visual arts. It is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the following four certificates, advanced print and graphic communication, advanced topics in photography, advanced web and interactive design, and the certificate in design communication arts. Please rise and be acknowledged. Well, good evening. Uh, my name is Stephanie Landrigan, and I am the program director of the Certificate in Horticulture and Gardening. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the Certificate in Horticulture and Gardening. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is also my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in landscape architecture. Please rise and be acknowledged. On behalf of Jeff Daniels, Program Director of the Architecture and Interior Design Program, it is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the Certificate in Interior Design. Please rise and be acknowledged. <laughs> also, on behalf of Jeff Daniels, I'd like to recognize the graduates of the Interior Design Certificate Program Foundation Level. Please rise and be acknowledged. In my capacity as program director of the Writers Program, I would like to acknowledge the graduates of the following certificate programs. Certificate in Creative Writing, Creative Nonfiction, Certificate in Creative Writing Fiction, Certificate in Creative Writing General Studies. Please rise and be acknowledged.
It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates in the certificate program in feature film writing. Please rise and be acknowledged. And finally, it is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates in the certificate in television writing. Please rise and be acknowledged. Thank you, Linda, and welcome. My name is Roger Tornaden. I'm the director of the Department of Business Management and Legal Programs. <laughs> we are now going to recognize the certificate programs in the Business Management and Legal Programs. Good evening. My name is Rich Burns, and I'm the program director for the Accounting and Finance Programs. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in accounting. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in finance. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is now my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in personal financial planning, which includes our evening online, accelerated, and web-delivered programs. Please rise and be acknowledged. And finally, it's my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in taxation. Please rise and be acknowledged. Hello, my name is Van Anderson. I'm the program director for the Leadership, Management, and Communications Department. So it is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in advertising and their certificates in marketing. Please rise and be acknowledged. I would also like to recognize the, all the certificate graduates who have completed certificates in business administration. Please rise and be acknowledged. I would also like to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed certificates in business fundamentals and also the certificate in general business studies. Please rise and be acknowledged. And next, I would like to recognize all the certificate graduates in the, who have completed programs in the certificate in human resources management. Please rise and be acknowledged. Next, I would like to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed programs in international trade and commerce. Please rise and be acknowledged. And I would also like to recognize all the graduates who have completed the certificate in public relations. Please rise and be acknowledged. I'd also like to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in real estate. Please rise and be acknowledged. And finally, I'd like to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in wine education and management. Please rise and be acknowledged.
Good evening. My name is Aymara Zelina, and I am the D Program Director of Legal Programs. It is my pleasure and delight to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in paralegal studies. being recognized. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Carlos Cortez and I'm the director of the Department of Education. We are now going to recognize certificate programs in education. Good evening. My name is Eric Latham. I am the director of the Pathway and Genera Generation Next programs. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in learning and life skills, the Generation Next and Pathway. Please rise and be acknowledged. Good evening, I'm Kate Edwards. I'm the Program Director for Education Department. Okay. Um, it's my pleasure to recognize all of the graduates who have completed the following certificates. The Certificate in Educating and Supporting Students with Autism Spectrum Disorder. Please rise and be acknowledged. It's my pleasure to recognize the graduates for the certi Certificate in Educating and Supporting Students with Emotional Disturbance. Please rise and be acknowledged. <laughs> now we'd like to recognize the graduates for the Certificate in Teaching English Language Learners. Please rise and be acknowledged. And now we'd like to recognize the graduates for the following two programs. Certificate in Teaching General Education for Elementary School Students and the Certificate in Teaching General Education for Secondary School Students. Would you please rise and be acknowledged. And now we'd like to recognize the graduates for the Certificate in Teaching Special Education for Students with Mild Moderate Disabilities. Please rise and be acknowledged. Thank you. Again, as the Director of the Education Department, it is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who've completed the certificate in advanced and or basic core early childhood education, please rise and be acknowledged. It is my honor to recognize the graduates of the Certificate in College Counseling. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in parent education and training. Please rise and be acknowledged. And finally, it's my honor to recognize the graduates for the certificate in teaching English as a second slash foreign language. Please rise and be acknowledged. Good evening, my name is Varash Shamirian and I'm the Director of the Department of Engineering and Technology. Yes. 
We are now going to recognize the certificate programs in engineering and technology. It's my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in applications programming. Please rise and be acknowledged. It's also my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in astronautical engineering. Please rise and be recognized. It's my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in communication systems. Please rise and be acknowledged. It's also my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in construction management. Please rise and be recognized. It's also my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in database management. Please rise and be acknowledged. Also, I'd like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in digital signal processing. Please rise and be acknowledged. I would also like to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in government contract management. Please rise and be acknowledged. It's my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in government cost estimating and pricing. Please rise and be acknowledged. Good evening. My name is Rachel Koshman, and I'm the Pro Program Director for Engineering and Technology Management. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in information technology management. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificates in Linux and Unix. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in manufacturing engineering. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in operating system administration. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in project management. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in recycling and solid waste management. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in supply chain management. Please rise and be acknowledged. And it is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed their certificates in systems analysis. Please rise and be acknowledged.
Good evening. My name is Linda Wilson. I'm the Director of the Department of Humanities and Sciences. We are now going to recognize certificate programs in humanities and sciences. My name is Sheila King, and I'm Program Director in the Sciences and Public Health. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in Alcohol and Drug Abuse Counseling and Alcohol and Drug Abuse Studies. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is also my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in Fitness Instruction. Please rise and be acknowledged. Good evening. My name is Stéphane Muller, and I'm the Program Director of the Humanities and Social Sciences. It is my pleasure tonight to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in... I have a few. Archaeology, please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in fundraising. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in journalism, journalism writing, and periodismo impreso y de televisión. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is finally my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in interpretation and translation, Chinese to English, Korean to English, and Spanish to English. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in introductory science. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in global sustainability. Please rise and be acknowledged. It is my pleasure to recognize all of the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in healthcare management and leadership. Please rise and be acknowledged. And finally, it is my pleasure to recognize the certificate graduates who have completed the certificate in post-baccalaureate certificate in the classics. Please rise and be acknowledged. Wow, isn't that amazing? Everything from archaeology to aeronautical engineering and then all the way down the alphabet from there. It, it, it always inspires me to see all the learning that's taking place and that's been represented by you in this room. So that brings us to the end of the recognition part of our ceremony. I'd like one last time to have all of our graduates stand up as a group and be recognized for your accomplishments. But there's more, don't leave yet. <laughs> Before we go to a final portion of our, our time together today, I want to give a shout out to our organist, John West.
Believe me, it's not often that you get a live rendition of pomp and circumstance as you march into your commencement ceremony, and we love that. We love that song. And then I'd also love to acknowledge our announcer, Carl Bradley Anderson, who is an extension student in our entertainment studies program. Thank you for your great work as our voiceover announcer. Now, to close out our ceremony today, we have a special gift for you, our graduates and your families and friends. Of course, we want this ceremony to be a very serious occasion to acknowledge the hard work and, and what you've accomplished today. But we are UCLA Extension, and as you saw in the video, we're just a little bit friendlier. So, and we happen to be in the middle of the entertainment capital of the world, and so we like to do something fun with a little bit of a UCLA extension twist to it. So today, we close our ceremony with a special performance by an a cappella group called Impact. You can read about them in your program. For now, we'll waste no time in getting them on the stage. Welcome, help me join, join in helping me welcome Impact.
One thing uh, that was so impressive from backstage is the diversity represented here uh, coming through Experimental College, so the number of different degrees we heard, fields of study, passions that we heard represented out there. Uh, this group uh, enjoys that kind of diversity. We certainly have come from universities all over the country uh, over the last 17 years, taking our music uh, across four continents. We appreciate um, just you having us here and the diversity that you represent. We certainly say congratulations, and we are so very proud to be here at this event for you tonight. Uh, this song will, uh, will be a song called uh, Change in My Life. An educator, a course, a degree program can really set a different course for us and be a change in our life. However you choose to listen to the words of this song, here we go. I've been lonely, I've been cheated, and I've been misunderstood. I've been washed up, I've been put down, and told I'm no good. But with you I belong, because you help me be strong. There's a change in my life since you came along. Oh, 
can tell that they're well educated because the slow song clap is very difficult. difficult. It's very difficult to do. <laughs> you did it very well. On two and four. You did it very well. This is one I think you probably know too. Last one. We've had a wonderful time singing for you. Don't stop. Thank you for joining us for the 2012 UCLA Extension graduation. Please join us on the lawn as our celebration continues with refreshments and photos. Congratulations everyone and good night.